to understand she has been a client for a very long time and you know we have a good relationship we have a good sort of like you know customer whatever relationship mm -hmm. i was like why is she upset i didn't say anything wrong i didn't i wasn't rude and i didn't mean it in an offensive way so why is she upset? Mm -hmm. And Yaba was just like, I don't know. She's just very angry with you. So I watched this interview between Chioma Ikoku and Chud. Chioma Ikoku is a real housewife of Lagos in Nigeria, while Chud is a Nigerian journalist and presenter. And he usually showcases Nigerian artists telling their stories on his platform. Now, Chioma is still trying so hard to push the narrative that herself and Laura are not friends after season one reunion and to me it's so repulsing and tiring you know this like you didn't just go around saying somebody's your friend what constitutes friendship you know i feel like for me to call somebody a friend it should be someone that i probably talk to on the phone you know maybe we just from now from time to time we go out together. I mean, we must have done a couple like lunch or dinners together for me to say someone's my friend, mm -hmm. you know. And with Laura, we just we've never done any of that, you know. We've never hung out aside from when she'll come to Good Hair or Brass and Copper. Mm -hmm. um, so if she's claiming that Laura is not her friend, that means Laura is her enemy, because the opposite of friendship is enmity, okay? But I like seriously. Although Laura herself overreacted by making the whole issue, the whole talk a big deal by saying eh, she should have called me a friend and not a client. She overreacted by prolonging that talk, which I also blame Laura for. But sincerely speaking, looking at all of all these things these Real Housewives of Lagos are doing after the reunion, I feel that the re this season two would be much worse if if these women these real housewives of lagos don't genuinely settle their differences behind the camera or with a counselor if they don't do this oh my man season two go blood yo hey they go come out person teeth for this season two oh because uh, from Chioma's interview, it just is so evident. Looking at the Real Housewives of Lagos on their social media handles after the reunion, it's just so evident that these women are still holding bad energy, bad blood against each other. Hey, I hope oh, that they settle. If they are not able to settle amicably, oh, my man, may they find another Real Housewives of Lagos for us. Oh. Because we cannot continue to thrive on drama. We cannot continue to hold on to drama and violence. There are other people watching them. There are other people that look up to them. They should sh give us content on that. Not every day. Wawulens, wawulens. Even with the way Chioma was still talking about towing Lawani, towing his fashion style, <sighs> Chioma is still not backing down. Now, wow. Now, wow. Made they said Sometimes to. when I look back, I'm almost like, but what did we really teach young girls? Do you mm -hmm. understand? What did we, you know, everyone comes in like, oh my God, you're so inspiring, this, this. But I'm like, I know so much more that I could have offered to the situation to actually genuinely inspire people, mm -hmm. to get them to want to do better, be better. You know, I don't want to be perceived as somebody that, you know, is coming on TV and is fighting or engaging in arguments or whose mouth is sharper. Like, that's not the legacy that I want to leave. You know? If Chioma said that she wanted to spread positivity, and she wanted positivity she should have started from this interview at least spread love and friendship it won't take anything away from her say love and friendship it won't take anything it's really evident that the real housewives of lagos have not settled at all because it is well well i expected that chud should have asked chioma how she has been with the other ladies you know the other ladies of the real housewives of lagos are they cordial or have they moved past their differences you know not the same routine question of why did you call laura a client why did you say she's your acquaintance why did you say she's not a friend um that question is so tiring so kindly share with me your thoughts about this interview in the comment section below did you watch the full interview do you agree with my thoughts or do you disagree with it let me know in the comments section 
below kindly subscribe and kindly click on the like button see you on my next video bye for now